Hi, I'm Tyler Harris, and I'm one of the artists selected to paint a mermaid statue for Destination Mermaid the Tail Trail. So, I was, uh, ever since I was in preschool, ever since I was around three, I started drawing and I started creating and throughout my whole childhood I just started loving creating things more and more whether it be you know drawings animation to more recently I've been creating things like plushies or stuffed animals or costumes um, so I'm really diversifying my arts and I just in the broad spectrum I want to be in the entertainment industry so I'm working towards that by um, doing lots of different types of mediums, whether it be painting, uh, traditional drawings, digital animation or illustration, anything along those lines is what I enjoy doing. Recently, um, actually last year, I, have, I had a friend in school, Timmy Murray, and he happens to be the water park manager at Buck Bay, and he wanted me to do a mural in the lifeguard shack for promotional purposes, and um, it worked. And then I got the article done about it, and it started building my bridges for me. And then I was told also by um, Timmy and Robin that uh, about the mermaid trail, so um, I hopped on that opportunity, and I was like, let's do it. So. My inspiration for my statue uh, stemmed from where I grew up, and that's Arizona. And it's uh, the land of the Sonoran Desert, and it's the only place in the world that has saguaro cactuses. Uh, I, put, I put the saguaro cactuses as a major key point on my mermaid, and the sunset captures the colors and the beauty of that Arizona landscape and the wildlife there through the snakes, the reptiles, the birds, and um, mostly because that's where my roots are from. So I wanted to have the, rep the mermaid represent where I'm from. Another thing I uh, thought would be um, interesting or unique about my mermaid being a southwestern mermaid is that when you think of the desert, you don't think of mermaid. You think of, you know, dry land with rugged animals and you, you wouldn't think of a majestic mermaid who could possibly live in the salt river through the canyons and journey through the land where the, all the trout and the bass swim. And you wouldn't think about that when you think of a desert mermaid because it's just not something normally you think about tropical, you wouldn't think about the desert. Come out and visit us at the 75th anniversary on October 13th and come and meet the artists. We would love to meet everybody and it's going to be an awesome time. We're going to have so much fun unveiling and doing the big reveal uh, for our mermaids, so see you there.